So here we're 6.2 rational exponents, powers of powers with negative exponents. So we do need to give that power to both terms. So we have this happening. So both of those um, factors will get this exponent. They're not terms. If there was a plus sign here, I would not be allowed to do this at all because the rule only applies to multiplication. Okay, it does not apply for when there's a plus b inside the parentheses. So then here I'm going to multiply these exponents together because that's the power to a power rule. I get negative 5 thirds and then if I multiply this one I get negative 2 over 15. Now the only thing is is they don't want me to write my answers with negative exponents. So that means this one is going to be 1 over x to the 5 thirds. This one's going to be 1 over y to the 2 fifteenths. And then if I combine it into one expression, we get 1 times 1 is 1. And x to the 5 thirds power times y to the 2 fifteenths power. And this is the final answer. Similarly, we can do the same for this problem. Maybe this is positive now, but something in here is negative. So first give each um, factor this exponent using that property. Then use the power to a power rule that says you'll multiply these. So you get six and then you get um, negative three over 10. And now one of these has a positive exponent and the other one has a negative exponent. So the one with the positive exponent will stay put, but the one with the negative exponent will have to go to the denominator. So then now both of the exponents are positive and so this is my final answer.